Unreal 5 vs Unity 2020, Round 1. This will be a two-round fight. Round 1 will be divided into categories, giving points by judging each software fairly by the merits and facts that have been released on the future versions of their respective engines. We also use the current state of the engines as a baseline when it comes to facts that haven't been expressly stated or released to the public. The categories for round one are graphics, physics, programming, features and tools, learning curve and ease of use, and cost and royalties. Cost and royalties. Both Unity and Unreal are free to download and use, and neither one is looking to change that anytime soon. So at first glance, they would both appear to be even. However, if you read the fine print in their royalty and pricing structure, you would soon realize this is not the case. In regards to Unity, your revenue or funding for the game needs to be less than 100,000 in the last 12 months. Additionally, Unity offers two paid versions ranging in price from $40 to $150 per month for each user, depending on your revenue source. And until recently, the cost to use the Unreal Engine for building games was a 5% royalty on gross revenue if your game makes more than $3,000 every three months. But as of Epic's Unreal 5 announcement, going forward, they will waive the royalties for the first $1 million in revenue and then resume the 5% fee from there. This is a permanent change and applies retroactively to revenue from January 1st, 2020. That works out to mean developers get back $50,000 from the first $1 million that would otherwise be paid in engine royalties. Additionally, Epic also waives engine royalties on all revenue generated from games sold on the Epic Game Store, where it instead collects a flat 12% platform royalty fee. Though many people and news outlets seem to simply be focused on the, albeit significant, savings they will now have on royalty payments, the 12% Epic Store platform royalty fee is just as important, if not more so. To put that in perspective, for small independent teams, the choice of distribution platform also factors heavily into a game or studio's success. On Steam, Valve takes a 30% cut until the title earns over $10 million on the platform, something only a small handful of titles are able to do. The Epic Game Store, on the other hand, only takes 12%. For an indie studio or team not counting on making the next Minecraft, having to pay 30% to Valve and monthly licensing fees to Unity may have them barely breaking even versus paying Epic just 12% for the engine and distribution. Up until this recent announcement, despite Unity's monthly licensing fee, they would have been the clear choice, especially when you read all the factors that Epic's licensing agreement did and still does take into account in regards to what it considers game revenue, such as revenue from any Kickstarter or other crowdfunding campaign, revenue from in-app advertising and affiliate programs, any received revenue in connection with the product, etc. However, with the announcement of their new $1 million threshold for royalties, as well as their 12% Epic Game Store fee in comparison to Valve's 30%, it's pretty hard to deny that Unreal should receive the point on this one. Last and final point, Unreal. And that concludes round one. Unreal Engine 5 takes the victory with four points to Unity 2020's two. We still have the last and perhaps the most important round to go. That being said, regardless of Unreal 5's strength, choosing a game engine involves way more than just looking at graphics, physics, tools, and features. For instance, years ago when CryEngine originally released, it also had better graphics, physics, tools, and features than Unreal 3. Yet nowadays, CryEngine is only used by a handful of companies, while Unreal is used by a majority of the AAA game studios that don't use proprietary engines. Win or lose, the important thing to keep in mind is both engines are making positive changes, improvements, and decisions that are inevitably benefiting us as developers and gamers. And keep in mind, the engine doesn't make the game. 
So the possibilities with both the current and future versions of Unreal as well as Unity are almost endless. And both Unreal 5 and Unity 2020 will only further push the envelope of what's capable in terms of both graphics and game mechanics. So join us for round two, when we focus on how each respective engine will work best for you or your team. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment on who you think the winner was and why. And always remember, don't just play, create.